Okay, now uh, we did the hitting piece of being a baseball player. Now let's move into catch, playing and throwing. Okay, or catching and throwing. So huge part of the game. I mean, if we don't catch the ball and throw the ball, uh, most of the time you're gonna find yourself um, on a not a very successful piece of the game, right, on the scoreboard. Our goal isn't the end of the scoreboard or the or winning isn't necessarily the biggest picture for us. The biggest picture is us of doing things correctly and we think that stuff will take care of itself. So fundamentally, um, how do we play catch? So with that, we usually like to get a catching position where I'm gonna receive the baseball. Go ahead and get in a good receiving position. If he's gonna catch the ball, Dawson, if you notice, is Shoulder width apart, slightly bigger. He's in great athletic position. He's probably bending his knees a little bit. And if he was really catching here, he would have his hands a little out front, kind of that alligator hand ready to catch it. Okay. And once he catches the ball, he's going to step his right foot. Yeah, he's going to get there and, and get into a good position. Okay. So we call this cash. We call throwing position good cash. Okay. So right now Dawson's gonna get received and then he's gonna get in a good cash position for me. And I'm gonna explain what that is. Cash and cash, freeze. Okay, cash, what does that stand for? We say K-A-S-H, cash. It's not C-A-S-H, that's money cash, right? But K-A-S-H is his knee, his ankle, his shoulder, and his hip is all pointed right at the target where he's throwing to. So Dawson's in great position. And also, what does that look like a little bit from our hitting session? If you put a bat in his hand right now, which he's right-handed, he's left-handed hitter, he would actually be in pretty good hitting position, right? He's actually in a pretty good position of power. So it comes back to throw, hit, and throw, okay? But he's in great cash. Knee, ankle, shoulder, hip, and throw, okay? So that's really the position we want to see. I'm going to let these guys play catch on a couple. He's going to throw to Doss. So Dawson's gonna receive the baseball, two hands, he's gonna step, and notice that good cash he's in. I'm gonna tell Dawson to freeze here in a second. And catch and freeze, bang. He's in great cash. Now, what if his knee was pointed that way? Go ahead, Dawson, give us that way a little bit. Land there. I mean, he still might make that throw to Z, and there are times where his body may be taking him, but his margin of error, because his elbow drops, his margin of making a mistake, or his margin of error, kind of went up a little bit because he's not in great position, right? When you're in good position in any sport, we feel like your margin of error is gonna go down. Your chances of having success of making a good throw on target is gonna go up the more he's in good position. Get back in cash, and there he is. Okay, good. So that is our throwing position we're talking about. We're talking about cash, which leads us to our next thing, okay? A basic fundamental of a ground ball we call the fielding triangle. So we're talking about receiving a ground ball right here and Dawson, so this is a routine ground ball. This isn't a come and get at one or a do or die or this isn't a hard shot in the, in the hole. We'll talk about those later. Right now, this is your basic fundamental of having a good proper footwork. So we call it the fielding triangle. And we have a saying that we do. We want Dawson to go ahead and put the ball down, Doss. He's gonna come up and field and he's gonna come up and then he's gonna break down just like if I was a football player right now and I was coming or basketball coming down the court, Dawson would have to get in good position and break down if he's really gonna cover me. So if I'm here coming, I'm gonna make Dawson go ahead and get in a good position how you're gonna really tackle me in football. He's coming in and he's getting in good, notice his good position of oh, he's there. Now right now that's great basketball position, that's good hitting position. We call that the athletic stance or the athletic position. Any sport, that's kind of where you're, you're gonna be, all right? No different than a ground ball. He's gonna come in full speed. Our number one rule of a ground ball is come get it, come get the ball, never sit back. But when he does, he's gonna break down and we put, we put these flat cones down. You could put three baseballs down, three tennis balls. I've honestly picked up like stuff on the ground and put things down on the ground, three leaves, anything you want to form this triangle right here. And this is where his right foot's gonna be. So we call it right foot, left foot, fall, or right, right, left, pick up the baseball in good form. We're gonna see Dawson do that at first. Come on up, Dawson. He's gonna come here, right, left, and down. Notice his back straight. You can almost sit a cup of hot tea on there and it wouldn't even spill. He's down here and his rear end's down and his hand is right here in the alligator hand, right there where the ball's coming in. He's gonna be, he's in great position, his head down. Some people go, they're afraid to get hit. Actually, if Dawson, even on a bad hop, even on a bad field, 
he's probably pretty protected here. The one thing that happens sometimes when a bad hop happens or they see a hop coming, they'll go like this. Go ahead and lift up a little bit your head. They'll go like that and go, oh, bad hop. And now what's happened? Now he's actually exposed to get hit. So if kids really keep their head down, most of the time they're not gonna get there. Okay, great job, Doss. Go ahead and go back. Sometimes we have to walk our kids through. Dawson's obviously has done this a lot, but he's gonna walk up slow. Even if your kids have to do that, right, left, pick it up, okay? And he's gonna go right, left, throw. So that's the progression. Go ahead and back it up again, Doss. We're gonna repeating ourselves. We want you to see it. Now come a little faster. Right, left, okay, he's gonna come. Right, left, pick. And he's gonna get in good cash. Right, left, cash. Right, left, cash, okay? So that's the progression. At first, I would have them do the one progression, just getting to the cones. And then the next step, I would go ahead and progress into right, left, throw. We don't even want to finish there. We also want to go ahead and throw the ball because we want to finish up with follow your throw. Right, left, pick it up. Right, left, throw. And we want Dawson to follow his throw a little bit. He's going to throw it into the screen. Z will come back down here and show us again. I'm actually going to throw a live ground ball to these guys and let you guys see it. And they're going to follow their throw. What does that mean? It means that some guys, we don't want your kids getting here and then standing up and throwing right here from that position. We actually want them to throw and really follow their throw for a few steps to make sure that it's in great direction and line of direction to the target. Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple of baseballs. Two guys fielding. Back it up. Yeah, they're gonna keep the cones there. I want you to go ahead and freeze on the first one. Right, left, pick up. Right, left, throw. Go ahead and throw. Right, left, throw, follow. Notice how we follow this throw a little bit. Nice job. Okay, go ahead, Z, come on up. Right, left, pick, right, left, throw, and he follows, okay? Good, one more. Ground ball, right, left, pick, right, left, throw, good. And you saw he actually took a couple of steps, which is good to get some momentum. Let's go one more. Right, left, freeze, right, left, throw. Okay, good, good, good. Now, with this, we want to always assume that the guy, the runner is really fast. So there's two ways, different ways we're gonna prepare for that. One, the runner's super fast, so we don't have a lot of steps to take. So that's one, we just get rid of the baseball. You see him there. And there's some where maybe you, you have time to gather, the runner's not as close. So that's where you see Dawson or Z will maybe shuffle, shuffle towards the target and then release the ball, all right? So we wanna show you those that sequence real quick. We're gonna go right, left, get rid of it. And the next set, guys, go ahead and do, you have a little bit of time. See if Coach Derek can get you on film. Okay, get rid of it. Good runner, right, left, he's gotta get rid of it, boom, okay? Same thing, Z, get rid of it. Right, left, pick up, right, left, throw. Now you got a little bit of time, Doss. Right, left, he's gonna shuffle a little bit. Okay, get set, maybe first baseman's getting set at the base. And, touch that ball, Z, you got some time, staying good. Okay, awesome. Okay, well that's the fielding triangle. That's the right, left, pick it up, right, left, throw. We worked on those things. And if you do those things, put yourself in good position. Once again, you have a chance to finish and have success.